Hey guys, check out our Discord server. The link is in the description. Hey guys, it's Dre. And Mom. We're unboxing Bush and Ashura today. Yeah, so this is the last of our GTs yes, we got. Hope you checked out the other two videos. We filmed <laughs> all these, like, today, because we just got them. Alright, so Bush and Ashura, I looks like pretty cool. the way it looks. I like the green and gold. Like, for sure. And it looks like it has, like, four weight points in a different area. So, I'm guessing it's, like, metal weight is a little bit of a different shape. And it, I mean, I think this guy kind of looks like Ken. He just needs puppets yeah. and straight hair. <laughs> and that's kind of funny because this kind of looks like, well, her base. her base a little bit. Yeah. All right, let's check out the back. I think all of these are right spinners, too, that have came out. Too, and kind of, that's kind of odd. All right, so we have the three-part layer system here. And the first part, the gachi chip, is called Ashura. And then you have tin, which apparently, and I heard this from somebody on the internet, may have been the Beyblade Geeks, this means sky in Japanese. But it's called tin here, so we're going to call it tin, but it's kind of confusing because there is a tin forged disc. But anyway, this is tin by uh, tin weight. And then you have the Bushin base or yeah base. the base of the layer yeah it's so hard because I don't know what the parts are actually called we'll call that the base so you've got Ashura, Tin, and Bushin. Bushin for this really cool looking layer and then the forge disc is called Hurricane cool yeah and that is very reminiscent of like a saw blade like Wyvern yes. yeah it's hard not to see that and then we have Keep which is the driver so yeah a nice defense type Combo here. You ready to get it out? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. And there again for the bay logger. I said in the other video, I don't know if they're going to have a new one for this system, but they do have these little pieces you can cut out and put in there. I kind of like this packaging. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't stand up on its own very well, does it? We're like trying to stand it up for the video and it just kept falling. All right, so we've got stickers. And I think this is the same insert that's came in all of the new GTs so far. We'll still look at it real quick. I like it so far. I'm not sure about the purple on Hurricane with the screen, but... <laughs> Sorry, I threw the exacto knife at you. <laughs> Terrible parenting. <laughs> that's awful. Butterfingers. Butterfingers. All right. Ah, oh, we totally lost the driver. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> that way we both don't start trying to crawl for it at the same time. All right, I'm gonna get the runaway driver and we will take a look at this. All right, so it's all out. We got the directions, the stickers. We didn't look at this insert when we opened Slash Valkyrie, but it's the same one that came with all of them. So it just goes over like different combos up here that you could use with these guys. Also this really cool gold weight that you could get, I guess they're Cora Cora. And then we are assuming this is the Fafnir that everybody's expecting to come out for GT. So yeah. We shall see. Looks like April 27th. I think that's what that means. I don't know, but that's what I think 427 would mean. All right. So let's get the stickers on and look, take a closer look at this. I just want to start looking at it. I mean, it's really good, doesn't it? Yes. Like right now, I kind of think you said it looks like a Chinese dragon a little bit. Or a Chinese, or like a Chinese king. Yeah, with the colors, I totally can see that. All right, let's get these on. These are some of the easiest stickers I've ever done. So we might as well put them on now. This has a, a this has a couple more than the other bays have had, but still, not that many to put on for these. All right, so now that the stickers are on, let's take a look. And I think the stickers made the biggest difference in this yes. one. I like the red up against I the like green it. and gold. Yeah, that, that that added. It looks really really good. All right, it is defense tight and. It looks like it could do some decent attacks, too, yes. with all those points, but it is pretty smooth. I mean, I like it. I think it looks really, really good. It is definitely reminiscent of Curveus. All right, let's take it apart. Well, I'll just throw it. All right, so if you haven't seen any of the other videos, and I'm sure you've seen other people's, too, you just pull the tabs here, similar to the gimmick on Hell Salamander, 
pop this out. The teeth are not near as good as Valkyrie. Valkyrie's teeth are crazy. I mean, not only are they deep, they're like square. And one of them's a bigger square than the other ones. This, these teeth are tiny. Do you see how tiny those are? And they're like little baby teeth. And they don't look very deep. So, yeah, it's like an obvious difference. It's so obvious. I hope you can see that there. I mean, compared to Valkyrie, well, I mean, it's. I think it's such a significant difference. I'm going to show you guys. What do you think, Drake? I mean, the difference is incredible. All right, so I don't know if I can even get that to zoom in enough to show, but these are like deep and super square, and then you have these that are super tiny and not, not very square. deep at all. Yeah. So huge difference. So yeah, I'm curious if we may see some of our first burst with this one, but it is defense. So maybe it'll do a good job defending itself. All right. So we've got the Asura Gachi Chip and then 10. So this one is way different. Kind of looks like antennas or an X. So it's got the weights distributed like that with these gaps here. Interesting. Seems like it could be pretty well balanced, I would think. Yeah. I mean, that's good for defense. All right, and then we have the yeah, Ashura as the base layer. All right, so let's pop it together like so. Oh, see, it's messing with me having those gaps on this one. All right, let's pop this on here like so. You lock it in. There we go. Now, all of these seem to have gimmicks on the Forge disc. So that's pretty cool. And this is Hurricane. And it looks like the disc is like super, super circular. Like more so than zero. You can take it off. You can take this off? Yes. Yeah, this is free spinning. And oh yeah, it does have indentions in it. So it looks like it is the first one that can come off. Let's see if I can manage to do that. Do you know how to do it? Oh, there, oh that's easy. You just kind of like pop it off. Okay, okay, cool. Now, we do know that these parts are all interchangeable with the other GTs and that you can put regular forged discs from earlier generations and drivers on these. Question is, will this frame go on a normal disc? And I don't know. Let me see if we have one. We do. All right, so I've got a seven here. It has indentions in it. So let's see. Uh, no, it does not. Like, there's absolutely no way. Like, this is almost too wide. I mean, it kind of stays, but it wouldn't stay for long. It's not attaching. So it kind of looks like it is, but it's not actually really on there. No, it's not. Okay. So that is not interchangeable. However, if you still want to use your frames from previous generations, you can put them on other discs and put this in here. Like this seven will go on here with this driver. See, like no issues there. You just can't put this on older generation. Um, frame, so that's good to know. All right, let's see how hard it is to put back on. And I think it's cool that it's free moving on there, like a hurricane. All right, cool, because you just gotta pop it on because it has to be able to spin. And I think that's one of the reasons it's not. And it spins pretty well, so it'll do that during battle. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then we have Keep. All right, and Keep is pretty tall, wouldn't you say? Yes. And this is, well, this is like a really, really. Like, it's a rubber. So I wonder if it's the rubber that's sort of like what's on friction. Yeah, and it kind of moves a little bit too. Like, it, it does give some. All right, so that's gonna offer some good defensiveness in the stadium, I would think. Help it take a good defense step. Like, offer good friction. Well, like I said. All right, so let's get it together and test spin. Awesome. Yeah, the teeth aren't the greatest, but you know, I guess they can't all have good teeth and they would like all never burst. All right, so let's take a look at this thing completely put together before we test spin. I like this one. I like, I like the look of it a lot. I like the purple. Yeah, I actually like the purple now that it's together. I don't mind it up against the green. I thought it would have been cooler if it was like gold or red at first, but I like it. Yeah. All right, time to test spin. All right guys, time to test spin. I'm ready to see this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, a nice defensive stance in the middle. It looks really smooth. I even think I might, maybe I've seen things. I feel like I can see the purple moving a little bit. Maybe, it's probably in my head. I like the way this one looks a lot. 
All right, guys, that does it for Unbox Tip for sure, sure. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, yes. be sure to give us a thumbs up, thumbs up, subscribe, hit and the hit bell. the bell. Yeah, and look for our other unboxings of the GTs. GTs. We got battles coming soon. Yes, we See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Like and subscribe.